How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and in this quick video we're going to be covering a super simple and easy to apply optimization in which anyone can try out on any system whether it be high end, low end, old or new which could potentially increase your FPS up to 10% with one simple quickly adjustable setting. For this we're going to be making adjustments to the Windows processor scheduling. This is a value in Windows in which you can customize which will adjust the amount of time Windows prioritizes a certain application or background processes. Adjusting the quantum timing adjusts the amount of time Windows will prioritize a certain thread, which means we can change this to apply it to prioritize gaming applications when they're open and reducing the impact of background processes whilst playing games. Now again, there isn't a one setting fits all, so in this video we're going to be covering all of the settings in which you can try out for your system, how to test them before and after, with all of that and more coming straight after a message from today's video sponsor. Tired of seeing the activate Windows watermark, built a new PC, or just want to own Windows at a major discount, head over to WhoKeys to purchase a Windows 10, 11, Home or Pro OEM key at a major discount. Make sure to use code PAN20 for a further 20% off at checkout, where you can use a safe and secure payment method such as PayPal. Once your key is delivered, simply input the key inside of Windows and boom, you're now completely activated and own Windows forever. You'll now have access to all features and no more watermark. Thanks again to WhoKeys for sponsoring today's video. So as mentioned before, adjusting the process of scheduling with inside of Windows will change the way Windows behaves and prioritizes foreground or background applications. And most of you watching these videos are going to look to prioritize gaming applications, editing programs, or just single individual applications. For that reason, adjusting the process of scheduling values with inside of Windows could actually be very beneficial in terms of giving you a super quick and easy performance uplift, especially to 1% and 0.1% lows, which is where performance typically dips. You'll see that those dips won't be as drastic anymore making your whole gameplay experience a lot more fluid, snappy, responsive, and in many cases, even slightly increasing overall FPS as well. It's super quick and easy to adjust this to any of the different values to find what works best for your system, alongside quickly adjusting it back to the stock setting to revert everything back within a matter of seconds. Before we go in and adjust this setting for your system, I would highly recommend that you do some before benchmarks with whatever applications you're looking for performance benefits on. So if you're a video editor, try rendering out one to two minutes of your footage how you usually would, see how long it takes. If you're looking to increase performance for gaming, boot up some of your favorite games, do some before benchmarks, or you could potentially look to use the Unigen Heaven benchmark, which is free to download. Just do a quick Google search for the Unigen Heaven benchmark, download it, start it up, set your system settings, and let the benchmark run. If you're looking to gather some more in-depth data, I would highly recommend utilizing Cap Frame X, which you can also find via Google, as it's a phenomenal benchmarking tool. Simply download it to your system. Once it's opened up, simply set your hotkey to start the benchmark, set the desired benchmark duration at the bottom. Boot into one of your favorite games you want to run the benchmark on, go to any scene, scenario, or wherever it is that you want to benchmark, then press the hotkey, the benchmark will then start. At the end, you'll then be given all of the data for the benchmark run that you can then go ahead and analyze with later benchmarks after we've adjusted these settings. Just make sure that whenever you do any benchmarks, please make sure that you are matching the environment as closely as possible. So don't have extra applications open in the background, don't be changing other settings, change this one setting, do a before and after, see if it's an improvement, adjust the setting further if you need to until you find what works best for your system. My only recommendation is to only benchmark applications you actually use in your system. You don't want to optimize your system for things you're never going to do or use. So with that out of the way, we first of all need to make sure that we have programs set to the priority with inside of Windows. Navigate to the bottom left hand side, type in advanced system settings, then click view advanced system settings. Head over to advanced at the top, then go to performance settings. Go to the advanced tab once again and make sure that adjust for best performance of has been selected to programs. Go to the bottom, select apply, okay, okay. You may have to quickly restart the system for that to then take effect. Once the system is restarted and you're booted back into Windows, we can now jump in to adjusting the process of scheduling. You can do this by navigating to the bottom left hand side, typing in reg edit, then selecting the registry editor, selecting yes. Before we adjust anything with inside of the Windows registry editor, we're quickly going to be backing it up. It takes two seconds to do this and it means that any adjustments we make, we can quickly and easily revert if we forget anything, or if you make any mistakes and you can't remember what you've done or you accidentally messed anything up for any reason, we can quickly use the registry backup within a matter of seconds. Head to the top left hand side to file, export, hit desktop, and we're just going to call this reg backup. Then go to save. After a few short moments, the registry backup should then appear where you saved it. At any time during or after this video, even if it's weeks from now, you can simply restore the registry back to before we adjusted anything with inside of here, just by simply double clicking the reg backup, selecting yes, yes, and okay. That's it, the Windows registry has been restored back to how it was before we adjusted anything, and it's just that simple. With the registry backed up, we then need to find the key we need to make the adjustments for. Head over to the left hand side to H key local machine. Navigate down to system, double click. Go down to current control set, 
0.001. Double click, then down to Control. Double click once again. This time, proceed to scroll down to the P section and find Priority Control. Once inside of it, if you're worried that you're in the wrong location, you can use my location up here as a guide. As long as you are on Computer, HG Local Machine, System, Current Control Set 001, Control, Priority Control, you're in the correct location. We're then going to be making adjustments to the Win32 Priority Separation Key by double clicking on this. You'll then notice that we can set the value from either hexadecimal or decimal. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be only inputting hexadecimal values whenever we're changing this. So whenever you change the value within Cytophir to test a different value for your system, make sure that you always have hexadecimal selected. We're then good to go and try out some different values for our system. On the right hand side, you'll see some recommendations for those of you looking to prioritize gaming applications, video editing, Photoshop, or just single foreground applications, which most of you watching this video are more than likely looking to do. Now there are a bunch of different options in which you can go with here. You more than likely aren't going to set the best option first as it really does depend on your system specs, operating system and the applications in which you are using. There is not a one setting fits all for all systems so you do have to test at least a few to see what works best for your system. By default this is more than likely going to be set to 2. For any reason you want to change this back to the default value, simply input the value data of 2, select OK, you're then running back at the Windows default option. Do bear in mind whenever you do change the value data and select OK that will then be applied instantly. You don't have to restart the system for these to take effect. So for instance if I wanted to test out the value of 2a, I would go ahead and type 2a, select OK, either exit or minimize out of the Windows Registry Editor, boot into my benchmarks or my game that I'm going to be testing this on, and look at what the performance is like, run my benchmarks, and compare the two. With Cap Frame X, I ran this benchmark earlier on. I can go to the comparison page, double click on this benchmark, then double click on the one I just ran to see the performance differences. For me on this setting, unfortunately, I'm actually getting worse performance, so I'm going to try out a different option. This time I'm going to be going with hex value data 16, minimizing out running my benchmarks again. Now hex 16 has actually been the best for my system and the games in which I play. That doesn't mean that the value of 16 is going to be the best for your system. Again, you need to try out different values because it really does depend on the games in which you play, the operating system and the system specs you are running. Now throughout my testing, you can see that the default value of number two on this Ryzen 5600 system compared to a value of 16, you can see that the default value of two is way stronger in practically all metrics. The 1% lows are 13.8% stronger on the default value of 2. The 1% lows are within a margin of error at just 1.7% and the overall average FPS is an increase of 3, meaning that the default value of 2 for this specific Ryzen system of mine is more than likely going to be the best result compared to all others in which I've tested. If you're interested in further metrics in CapFrameX, navigate to the analysis tool at the top, select the individual benchmark run you want to analyze. Here you can see metrics for stuttering, smoothness and low FPS. If we look at the value of 2, we're getting 6.1% stuttering, but if we compare this to the value of 16, 16 actually has 8.6% stuttering. So you can really dive in and analyze how the different settings perform on your system to find which works best for you. But if I head over to my i9 system, you can see drastically different results where the hex value of 16 is actually the best for this system and you can see uplifts across the board. So again, that's just a quick example of how different this is on a per PC basis. You could have two computers in front of you right now and the same value won't work best on both of them. Jump into registry editor, try out a different value, run the same tests. If it's better, fantastic, try out a different value and keep doing this until you've at least tried three or four to see what your performance is like. At that point, once you've found a value you believe is best for your system, go back and run the test again to make sure that this isn't just an anomaly or lucky run. If the results are still better than all of the other values, fantastic. Jump into some different applications, use your PC, see what it's like, see how it behaves, responsiveness. And if you're happy with it, fantastic. You've now adjusted the process of scheduling for your system to extract even more performance and tailor your system towards your personal needs. Again, if at any point you want to revert back to the default settings, jump into the registry editor, set the value back to two, which is the default value, exit out, and you're then back to normal. If things still feel off, even though that you've reverted the value, you can always just use the registry backup at any time to revert everything back to how it was before this video, so you can wipe clean absolutely everything you might have adjusted throughout this process and go back to how it was before. On the machines in which I've tested for this video on screen now, you can see different benchmark results and the values in which I settled with on each machine. You may also be questioning why Windows isn't defaultly set up to prioritize foreground or main applications over background applications by default. Well, Windows wants to balance its workload evenly and most people using Windows PCs more than likely aren't gaming on them. They're doing tons of different tasks, they have web browsers open, editing programs, documents, and you'll still be able to use all of those applications and multitask, but setting Windows to prioritize foreground applications like games, editing software, and you are a user like myself where you want all of the system resources to be going to what's actually important on your machine, the only downside to this is going to be an ever so slight increase to responsiveness of multitasking applications. If you have web browsers open, documents, and you like to go between them very quickly, you're going to see a minimal increase to responsiveness to them and that's 
it. In real world scenarios, you're more than likely not going to notice any downsides whatsoever. And with it being so quick and easy to revert this option back to the default value or adjust it to yourself to potentially increase performance with multitasking, it's definitely a fantastic tool to have in your optimization toolbox for your system to tailor it to whatever your needs are. This doesn't mean that any background applications will stop working, such as Discord or anything else, you'll still be able to use absolutely everything. It will still work perfectly fine. It just means that Windows will see the game application, video editor or Photoshop will just hold its priority and set it to a higher priority for longer. And there you guys have it. Let me know of what quantum timing you decided to go with and what gave you the best results and what tests you applied. Again, it is always best to do multiple tests across different applications that you actually use on your system to ensure that you are getting the best results possible. As you can see for me in my best case scenario on CSGO, which is a game I play practically all of the time, I was able to lift up my 1% low FPS by up to 10%, which is absolutely phenomenal for a setting which can take a matter of seconds to adjust. If you have enjoyed this video and are happy with your results, please do consider leaving a like as it helps me out tremendously. And if you do enjoy content like this and want to go further with optimizing your system, consider checking out one of the two videos on screen now and I'll see you over there.